What is up? It's your boy in here bringing you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we got a banger. All right, so I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. I don't know what's going to happen in today's video. All I know is there is going to be a very, very big change. Okay, let me tell you what actually happened. So I had just gotten back from my first trip, my first camping trip. I had just gotten back and I was on the interwebs and I was looking for rooftop tents, camper shells, bed racks, roof racks, and I was just browsing Facebook because Facebook Marketplace, if you don't know, is an absolute gem. You find some stuff on there for cheap, cheap. So I was hoping maybe I found something for cheap. And when I say cheap, I found something for free 99. So I saw a listing when I saw it, it had been posted five minutes ago and it read, if you're interested in a hoke, hokey, I don't know how to say their name. You guys know I'm bad with the name pronouncing. Bed rack, message me, it's free. I just need to do an installation video on the truck. PM me if you're interested. I PM'd and I messaged him and I reached out like a trillion times to let him know I am interested. Choose me, please. I think my direct message was, it would be cool for both of us to make a video on this. The man, the myth, the legend, Tacoma Holic lives near me. Okay, first off, that's crazy, but he lives near me and we are doing this collaboration together. And it feels like it's taken forever, but the time has come, I'm going out, to his location to film to get this installed tomorrow but i don't want to be that guy who shows up with a million things to do plus the installation so all of this must go so i have to get rid of everything back here there's a lot of stuff that already has gone inside of here most of this stuff is just camping stuff i think i'm just going to put all my camping gear inside of another box another one of these and kind of call it a day put it in storage until i need it without further ado let's get this empty it should be pretty simple i think you just that oh god i even changed the time of day whoa look at that well now we have to head out and go meet mr tacoma holic and hope this goes well i'm very awkward in person so i'm panicking well fast forward a couple days and well as you guys can see the bed rack is on so let me tell you guys a little bit of what actually happened after that last clip so i ended up driving out to tacoma holic's home where we installed the absolute beast of a bed rack that we'll get into in a little bit we pull up to his home i see the absolute beast of a truck that he has oh my gosh it made me regret downsizing from 33s down to these eensy weensy 31 32 ish tires bad influences okay stay away from them Nonetheless, we ended up installing the bed rack. It went absolutely great. He had it already pretty much built up. Shout out to him. Pretty much he did. He did all of it. Tacoma Holic is an absolute legend. Super funny, super cool, down to earth, humble, absolute legend of a guy. If you guys don't know who he is, you're sleeping under a rock. But nonetheless, let's go over what we got installed. guys enjoyed that this is the h-o-o-k-e you let me know how to say it hoke hokey something like that hokey bed rack it is an absolute tank it's super super sturdy there's a lot of mixed reviews online so you guys will see on my channel what i think how it does how it holds up i think the material it's made out of is super super nice i had some side steps made out of the same material and they held up great. The side steps were also getting pelted with rocks. They went off-roading. They did so much and they didn't scrape or scratch or rust or anything. So I'm hoping that this won't either. The installation is not perfect and I'm gonna adjust it. We kind of just put it on for the sake of the video. So on the side, you can mount absolutely anything and everything. I hope I'm not the dude carrying jerry cans to the mall. I just really don't wanna be that guy. It was solely for the video. It's for a high lift jack. I didn't know this apparently, and maybe I'm wrong, but you have to have like bolt on side steps or somewhere for the high lift jack to lift. I didn't know that I almost bought it and that would have been very awkward. You can mount a lot of stuff. And then of course, if you need to, people just drill holes into these all the time. So you see that right there, there's a screw that can go straight through the middle. And well, you can attach something. If you don't know what you can attach, it's the spare tire holder. If I was still on my 33s, this would be absolutely perfect, but something else is gonna go on top of here in due time. Not right away, because I'm still trying to find out what is best, but soon something will be going 
on top of here. So for my peeps that carry weight in the back of your truck, this question is for you. This bed rack is around 80 to 90 pounds. I'm going to be adding a rooftop tent to this that's probably gonna be, let's just play it safe, 100. So let's just call it 200 pounds. Plus another 100 pounds of weight with gear, with camping gear. I don't think it would be, but let's just overestimate. Now I have a Deaver Adelief, Bilstein 5100s in the rear. Will a sumo spring be enough? I'm thinking about getting either the mid-tier or the lowest tier sumo spring. The back is still higher than the front. It's gonna be exactly level, I feel like, with those extra 200 pounds. Just being that me and Sandy got inside the truck, it wasn't sagging, it wasn't even leaning. But of course over time, things may change. And I think the sumo springs are maybe my best bet. So let me know down below in the comment section if you've done this or if you haven't, what do you think? Other than that, I'm super excited. We do have a camping trip coming up this weekend. As of right now, we have this crate that, um, well, this is holding everything. So we got our little, ammo boxes with velcro um, we got some extra parts for the bed rack and then over there come on camera focus we got some more parts so this stuff i'm about to put it in there because sandy sandy's not a fan of this whole situation what do you guys think about the color choice not identical pretty close this is more like a baby blue but it'll do now this is an absolute mess that needs to go inside the house these need to go inside the house let me know what you guys think what should i do in the meantime, to try to prevent curious hands. I don't know what I should do, but I gotta figure it out. Now, I was personally thinking about getting like a lock or something to put on here for the meantime, just while I get my bed cover. I don't plan or think I'm gonna have this like this the whole time. Look at that. I already found a use for it. All right, please don't fall. Gee. Oh, gee. I don't know how this got in my truck. I don't own anything that's Versace. Theoretically, I should be only carrying this and maybe one more of these, plus my water when I go camping. The problem that I'm facing is I don't know what to do when I go camping and I leave this kind of abandoned. Also, this is probably the sickest thing I've ever done. I have now a table. Can you guys see where I'm... I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm sitting on my tailgate and I have enough room to literally sit down and just talk with you guys. Sit down, chit chat, maybe even eat some food. Nonetheless, I have a bed rack. Well, if you are interested in anything you guys have seen in today's video, it will be linked down below in the description. If you guys are interested, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. Go check out my last camping video as it was an absolute blast. If you guys aren't subscribed to Tacomaholic, go check out his channel, go check out his videos. I believe this video is going live tomorrow. So stay tuned if you're interested. But with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. But nonetheless, it's been your boy. I'm out here liking Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Cinco de Malo. Peace.